Hello submarine friends. I just wanted to give you an update on the progress of my little submarine project. So you can see I finished welding up the chassis, painted it, drilled holes for venting the, the air to get out of the pipes and water to get in. I also installed the platform for the mechanical arm. So the mechanical arm typically will ride right like that. It can also travel in this position, but the arm, this part of the arm has to be raised because there's a ballast tank right here. But I think typically it'll just sit right like that. It won't interfere with anything. So I've installed the forward thrusters. There's one on this side, there's one on that side. That thruster is the vertical thruster. It's a small thruster right now. I have a much larger thruster, but I think that's going to work just fine. If not, it's actually built to accommodate the larger thruster as well. I've allowed clearance for the larger propeller, etc. These two discs right here are the ballast weight. They're permanently welded to the submarine. They're left over for my deep diver. They were going to be window ports and I decided not to use them. So they're great ballast weight, they're super heavy. And in the back here, this is the battery pod. Now it's all finished. It's pressure tested, but now it needs to be painted. Uh, full disclosure, I welded it up, air tested it, and I did have a couple pinhole leaks, so I had to re-weld it. So now that area has to be repainted. The battery pod actually attaches to the submarine sphere. Now it does that because I want some weight on the submarine. So if I drop the chassis, I don't want the submarine to be so light that it becomes inverted and goes to the surface. So I want to maintain enough ballast weight on the sub so it stays oriented in a vertical position. So that's my progress so far. Uh, now I'm going to move on to uh, painting the actual submarine. I've already made up the whole wiring harness for it. So progress is really good. Ciao for now.